So we've got these Oscars around the corner, and I've been checking out some old Oscar speeches in anticipation. Obviously you have your great speeches, like Olivia and Coleman's speech from 2019. Ooh, it's genuinely quite stressful. <laughs> Got an Oscar. <laughs> this is not going to happen again. All that time, Joe Pesci gave a speech that consisted of just six words. Oh, it's my privilege, thank you. Wait. Because you know we can say more, but some speeches are just so long-winded and political. It's so frustrating. Climate change is real. To support leaders around the world who, who do not speak for the big polluters of the big corporations, but who speak for all of humanity, for the indigenous people of the world, for the billions and billions of underprivileged people. The 2020 presidential election is around the corner. Make the, make the moral choice between love versus hate. Let's do the right thing. Don't use it as a, a platform to make a political speech, right? You're in no position to lecture the public about anything. You know nothing about the real world. The best speech by far that I've ever seen was J.K. Simmons winning Best Supporting Role for Whiplash. He took his time on stage to just be a good dad. Joe and Olivia, you are extraordinary human beings. Smart, funny, kind, loving people, and that's because you are a reflection of your mother. And then he just becomes an old man in a rest home. Oh, my kids don't call me enough. Call your mom, call your dad. If you're lucky enough to have a parent or two alive on this planet, call them. Don't text, don't email, call them on the phone. Tell them you love them and thank them and listen to them for as long as they want to talk to you. What a sweet old man. So hopefully this year when Joker wins like every Oscar or whatever, the speeches are more like J.K. Simmons or Joe Pesci speeches and less like Leo's. Let us not take this planet for granted.